my name is Maria Kenjeli from Easy Pickers in Manilo. Hello, this is Emmanuel from Easy Pickers Beeman Block. Lucky enough today we have come to our yard when there is a loading of blocks that are going to fight. Today I'll tell you something briefly about the block. Here it is, this is our structure of block. It's the one we use uh, with the interlocking t -beam. This is the groove that interlocks with the t -beam, and these are the hollow section. This hollow section gives you the advantage of uh, having insulation of temperatures, especially here in cost. If you build using these pickers, beam and blocks, you get the advantage of having cold temperatures inside your room. Uh, I'll be talking about this point that many people have been asking us about capacity. We are here to, to see this uh, is the stacking area of our blocks and our blocks are standard. The dimensions of these blocks are standard, that's why we produce them in bulk this much. And uh, it's good enough, we see here we are having curing of these are the newly produced blocks here. That is the stacking area of blocks that have already cured. And uh, we have this very, very big stock of these blocks so that uh, wherever we get an order, we can just do production of the beam and you will have ready stock of the blocks. At my far end here is even a lorry being uh, loaded, uh, blocks to a site that we are going to do. Thank you. Let's meet on site while we will we'll be doing that house. My name is Kennedy from Easy Slabs, Beam and Precast Blocks. Oh, today we are at the yard and this is our stacking area at the yard and uh, these are the type of beams we are using for the precast slabs. As you can see here we have the T-beams. The T-beam is reinforced with high tensile steel. At, at the bottom you can see we have three tendons and at the top we have one. It's a high tensile steel and the length of the beams is uh, in accordance with the dimensions of the according to the drawing as built on site. Uh, as you can see in this area we have uh, the six meter beams and uh, they are of different sizes. There are the, the 4.5 meter, the 4.6 and 4.7. So the dimensions of the length of the beams depends on your, on your dimensions as built. The kind of beams we have in our yard are T-beams. Uh, structurally, they have a moment capacity of 9.6 kilonewtons. That means that uh, when we are designing the floor, we take that into consideration. And with changes of length, we usually vary the arrangements of our beams. And that you'll see when we hit the site. Thank you. Hi guys, we are now at the site. Um, 
the key thing in every building is design and uh, on design you have to focus on the structural members which uh, consists of the columns and the beam as they are very key in transmitting our loads the beam design we will design both sides of the beam because we'll have the load bearing beams and the non load bearing beams for the non load bearing beams we can just uh, do minimum reinforcement but for the load bearing beams we will need to factor in the bending moments in that beam before we cap them up with the reinforcement detail also on the column we we'll love to focus on the cross section to ensure that it's enough to transmit the load from the multi story building thank you Welcome to Malindi. So we brought the beam and block technology here in Malindi. As you can see, we had the confidence to use it in uh, this uh, multi-story building, where the spans of the each uh, from beam to beam is six meters, and we are still able to comfortably cover the structure. Um, as you can see from this structure as well, and the one we are standing on, uh, it's a very excellent system whereby uh, the, it provides uh, considerably higher thermal insulation, better noise insulation, and uh, for our climate here at the coast and Malindi, it's highly ideal because uh, during the dry season when it gets really hot, the hollow blocks uh, prevent the heat. Uh, from getting into the building. So this system is also very environmentally friendly. As you will see in uh, this entire project, we've not used any formwork. So no need of mikoko, no need of trapper, and uh, you save the environment by conserving the timber usage. Um, our beams and blocks lie straight onto the ring beam, so there is no need for any formwork. After we have done the screeding, as you can see in the floor here, it's just a 50 millimeter topping. Um, uh, since this is a large span, we use a BRC. So after the screed, there is no difference basically between this and any other conventional uh, slab system. It's quite hard, um, durable, and the loading as well is uh, comparable to the conventional, if not better. As we said earlier, after the beams are casted, after the beams are casted, that's when we come in and lay our T, our T beams. As you can see, this uh, this 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 the T beam, and they interlock with the hollow blocks. Yeah, the dimensions are uh, 400 by 200 by 120. After in the installation. What follows next is the screening. As you can see, all of this area, the installation is done. What comes next after that is the screening. We'll do the provisions for the electricals and provisions for the, for the plumbing. After that, we'll do the BRC. We'll use the A066 of the BRC mesh. Then we'll do a thickness of 150 or 50 millimeters. So, easy slab, sustainable building technology.